But let's talk about it. She back in this room. My, I, I had a grand old time. Oh, y'all. Okay, hold on, let me come back. Nikki here and this vlog will be brought to you by Abbott Love. If you want that, I'm not going to say it, but it rhymes with Tim's like feel basic bodysuit type things for a fraction of the price. Let me tell you about it from my sponsor. Guys, here's a quick view of the packaging. Abbott Love, they all came in their own packaging, really secure. This is what it looked like right here. These are all extra large and it describes what they are right here. The waterproof zip bags and then off inside is a totally different bag to make sure that it's really secure off in there. Avid Love Design meets desire. I got white. There's black. Nude. So these are like basics. I always get the core colors, baby. Nude, black, and white. There's your material right there. And like I said, I got extra large. There is definitely a stretch, but it is giving like shaper that's gonna snatch you in. So I am going to love that. So let's just try them on really, really quick. Of course, they all snap right here. The snap is only one snap, so it's not adjustable. So let's get into it. So guys, let's start here. This is how the top of this one is made. It's sleeveless. Now, what I can say about these bodysuits is the material is amazing. This is an extra large. It really fits really good. But if you want to be like, I would say go down the size and you'll still be able to pull it off okay. So, you guys know this is YouTube. You know what a bodysuit look like from the, from the bottom right. I'll show y'all as much as I can without getting in trouble though, okay. So, this is what you have right here. See, it's not all like super sheer and see-through. That's the back right there. I'm literally headed somewhere right now and I'm about to pack this right on in my suitcase. So that's the first one, the black one, cute, cute. I'm snatched or whatever. <laughs> so you guys remember I went to an event like two vlogs ago and said I needed a new bodysuit that was a little lighter than the one I had on. Y'all, the material feels so freaking good. I don't have any bodysuits that feel like this. It's kind of, it's not swimsuit at all. It's just like a really good material. I can't explain it. It's a cross between like a cotton and a swimsuit feel. Phenomenal. I want more of these because they do have more styles to choose from. And I'm not sure about more colors, but I think they do. So this is the nude, of course. It's made the exact same way. So if it was something different about it, I would do a twirl and all that, but it's the exact same thing, just nude. The link will be below the video. It's going to be the first thing when you tap below the video in the description box. All right, guys. And so here's the white one. They're all the exact same, guys. I really need, I really needed a white bodysuit. So <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Abbott Love. So I will leave the links to the pieces below. They're all the same, so I'm quite sure it might just be one link. I'm not sure yet. Thank you, Avid Love, for sponsoring this video. I am absolutely in love with these bodysuits, and y'all know I'm in my bodysuit era. I just told y'all that re recently, because I just love how they make you put, put together. You just throw on some shorts, throw on a skirt, throw on anything. You can even wear these as swimsuits, child. Just do what you want to do. They're yours. So make sure you check them out. Let's move into the vlog. Good morning, Plant Brats from Los Angeles, California. We are headed to the BT Awards. Let's go. First, toast. Here's a little before, and if you want to see me getting here, check out the previous vlog. In fact, I'm supposed to be on this trip with Gina. She was supposed to go to the awards with me, but when they sent over, like, what time we had to be there, what we could wear, and all that, she was like, woo, that seemed like a lot, which it is. Award shows are always a lot. I've been telling y'all that since I went to that one in London. Lord, I had to be up at 9 a.m. that morning and the awards didn't start to 7 that night, literally. If you would like to compare the two, ooh, don't even look too hard over there. Just some quick pink and whites that I got from Shein for a dollar. 
this is what they look like right here. And I love the ones that have these tabs. Makes them easier to put on. All right, guys. Toes are complete. I was gonna switch my nails out to something more neutral, but I've been getting a lot of compliments on these. But I took this one off last night because I was reaching for my um, suitcase in the overhead bin and hit it and it was hurting. So I took it off so it could breathe throughout to last night. And I'm just gonna put it back on now. I didn't bring my Sally Beauty glue, but the glue I have should be good enough for what I gotta do today. I'm watching this show and she keeps saying, Jesus, it's a cooking show. And I keep looking for I, Jesus, the snowman. <laughs> so nails are on. This bubble nail thing is it right now. I've been seeing everybody wearing their nails like this. Let's put this glue in my clutch. Let's put this glue in my clutch before I leave it. Baby, this clutch was $30. And I'm gonna wear it till I can't wear it no more. I wore it to like four different things. The Mariah Concert, the Olivier Awards. My iWalk charger, because it's gonna be a long day. And um, we can't take our cameras in much, so. That goes in the clutch. This right here is Mojave Ghost, which I'm not a fan of, but I got a decant from making Judge Kelly one. Of course, my Dior lip balm. Is it even some in this one? Enough for the show. This right here, my dear, is Tums and Tolomo. I had to put them in a little packet so I could fit more in my clutch. And this right here is my Chanel mirror, which I should have got in more colors. Did they ever bring these back when they came out with all the colors and people was mad? That's so tacky, Chanel don't do all that in a pen. Cause I'm a pimp. No, I'm just playing. I condensed over to this Kurt Geiger card holder just to have my license cause I really can use my phone if I need to buy something. Oh, that's everything that's gonna go in my clutch. So let me show you my outfit options and then we'll do our hair. So here's option number one. Hey Siri. How many degrees is it? It's about 79 degrees outside. See, it's not Texas hot here, especially last night. Ooh, I'm swinging and banging. Hold on, y'all. Nightgown for me, Quay. Y'all know. Hey, Siri. Mm -hmm. What is the high today? The high temperature will be 89 degrees Fahrenheit today. Oh. Not Cali getting up in almost the 90s. The day is the wars. So you guys have seen this before. This is just some black slacks. The BET Awards is no longer formal. <laughs> um, and it came with this blazer like this. I wore this in a perfume video before, but I didn't actually wear it. Hence the tag still on it. A lot of times I just get dressed top up just to wear something in a video. So that's option number one. That's probably the most comfortable option. Here's option number two. Now this is heated a little bit. It's a full pantsuit. All of this is from Shein. No, it ain't. The last option ain't. We can't wear red or black. So this is a full pantsuit. It's just plain black and wide at the bottom. Only reason why I don't like this cause, uh, uh, but I can easily take them off. I think, let me see. I don't want to tear it up. Yeah, no. <laughs> But this has such a cute fit and slims me so well. But I just think about little stuff like if I have to use the bathroom, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is my last option, which I think I'm heavily leaning towards. How the hell did this get so damn wrinkled? This actually came from Burlington. So this is so cute and this is the style right now. I actually just wore a pink one. Sort of kind of like this the last time I was here. It was, watch, $20. Watch out, these outfits, $20, $30 and I'm gonna look like a million dollars. So it's a black dress like this and it has like, it's long. This is the one, right? This is the one, let's go with this dress. Then it has a split. So yeah, I think I wanna go with that dress. Go earn it, y'all, inside out. And then of course I always bring these shoes <clears throat> because I can run heat, I can run in them. Is it nerve? Something like that, baby. Bum, but it's getting hot in this room, so hold on. 80 degrees in here, baby, now. 
Take that on there. And accessories are minimal, very minimal. Like, I just brought earrings. So with that, I'm gonna just run the little silver drop top bodega dupes. Yeah, stay on here about my earring. I'm gonna start around the school that my dad earned for me my whole life, my whole life. Ali said, when he was getting ready for work, baby girl, what you wearing to school? He earned my stuff while he earned his. He still do. Just a lot of stuff I don't have to earn. Be stretched, baby. Whew. Let me get out this camera so I can get with it. Bro, I ain't no iron expo, but I know this water ain't supposed to be coming out here like this. You know what I'm saying? Chill. Alright guys, so we're about to put on this blonde love me wig. At first I was like, woo, that is blonde blonde, but let's go for it. <laughs> so guys, somebody is here fixing the hair. Because baby, I'm blonde blonde, I know. It wouldn't go, um... It was stopping at eight. Uh uh. Baby, I gotta get dressed. Um, I need the window open for the natural light to do my makeup. But they came right away. It didn't even take five minutes. Woo, that's flattering. Muy caliente. <coughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks better. Just, we gonna blunt it. Because it look curl under. Uh uh. See, y'all, I knew I wasn't tripping. He said one of the valves for the hot water was closed or open or something so he had i guess it was open so he had to close it so the level of hot water cold water in because baby i looked up and it wouldn't go past 80. uh-uh it's 80 outside baby. i don't want to feel oh let me practice with the camera getting my face um what's my song right now Yeah. Right, ladies and gents, he came and fixed the air. It feel like it's blowing better. Cause baby, I was gonna say, <laughs> you got one of the first one? Cause baby, mm -mm, mm -mm, I wanna be able to do that. So let's do our makeup real quick. How we do that? While I'm sorting through all this, let me just go put my moisturizer on. This is Elements. I'm not gonna do a tutorial cause it is already girl i literally should have been dressed in the driver car by now but i'm not late i just wanted to get there and get good footage for y'all like all the parts so right, we're gonna make it do what it do yeah i already know yeah i hate these thick ass tags on these towels i be wanting to turn them out but these ain't my dang on tags so I can be turning people up. Just came to tell y'all this is bomb. London convinced me to get it. It is the matte, rich, rosy skin finish. Woo! Baby, I guess rich, rosy is the color. Matte skin finish. And if you missed out on it, I'm a six for 60. I told y'all to go get it, man. Y'all don't be listening, mate. But it's still on sale. Everything in the cosmetics company store. It's 60% off, but you can score big if you get it on the 6 for 60. Whew, this shit is bomb. All right, guys, we went from 80 to 77. Still not cool enough for me at all. But, um, yeah, the dress is a flop. I don't know if it's because I ain't been eating the last two days so that I could not be bloated in my clothes. But it is way too big. Like, uh-uh. It don't even fit right. Like if I pull the side, it's a whole bunch of extra room on the side. Thank God I got two alternatives and I gotta go. So be right back. All right, so this is a much better look. It's like dressy, but it's not. Y'all can't even see. I pinned some, so, so much of my cleavage is not out. Wish I could do it like that, but it's just a pantsuit. And it's easy. I can get in and out of it. Yeah, I did a test run with that other suit. Like if I had the pee real fast, couldn't even get out of it. I'm probably bruised and everything. I'll show y'all when I get back. So let me do some more finishing touches to my hair. I am wearing Dossier's Amber Saffron. And I am her from Jackie. Forever. 
a little bit more of the dossier on. Let me make my hair lay a little better. I really want to switch back over to that other wig because this is blonde, blonde. And the part situation, yeah, I don't even have like a liner brush to fix my part. I'm just going to keep on pushing and go and have a good time. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, I'm all over the place today. It's cool. We're going to put our shoes on and go though. We have to do better. It's just, I be so busy. But I need to start doing like full clothes and try on before it's time for me to go. Because haven't this been happening a lot to me lately? So, here's the full look. I did go ahead and go with the silver shoes. Of course. I feel like that's good enough. I hate to leave y'all, but I gotta go. We gonna try this one more time. I'm definitely about to go. We put the hair up and went to a red lip. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, that's the W, JW Barrel right here. That one right here. We got Raheem right here. He looks so good. Say hey. We have Kamisha right here. We're trying to check in. Hey. All the way from Orlando. Yeah, girl. <laughs> oh my God, that flight was so long. But well, we gonna get lit though, right? It's time to turn up, baby. Turn yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> look guys, look at her dress. She's so cute, but I was gonna wear that. That's why I'm getting it. I'm so glad I didn't. This black dress, I had it. So y'all, we waiting and she needed a ticket and guess what? Oh my God, platinum did it. First off, y'all, let me stop playing with y'all. My name is Good News. You can't lose with Good News. All the way from <laughs> NC here in LA and Platinum Nut. She's Bless part them. of the miracle, baby. You better stop playing. Don't play with Platinum. Don't play with her. Stay with her. Okay, get to it and do it, baby, or you'll lose it. So let's go check in. Let's you ready? Check in. We're gonna check in. Let's go on the Skyville. Skyville. Take a bathroom break. Everybody keep thinking I'm Sierra from Love and Hip Hop. Please, it's wow. crazy. Like, I think I'm gonna just stay back here. Let me because I don't want to miss nothing. Hold on. We got Eureka here. Are you a plumber? Yes. <laughs> I'm about to start. I wasn't able to achieve. Baby, I'm too hungry. Lord, I just ran into Justine from Wildin' Out. Let's go, y'all. Let's get 
Do we want to go to the after party? Y'all know I'm your lit auntie, but I ain't that lit, baby. I'm gonna go get me something to eat and be in this bed. <laughs> Baby, let's talk about it. She back in this room. My, I, I had a grand old time. Oh, y'all. Okay, hold on, let me come back. Woo, I didn't, I'm kind of aggravated because I didn't get no camera time. I was waiting on that camera to flash on me. I would be, get it sexy, get it sexy. But even though I was on the bottom level, even though I was on the bottom level, no camera time. So my manager got me wings and fries because I ain't ate all day. Nothing. Not a cracker. Not a nothing. And I'm starving. So let me see what's in here because I don't even know what I got to eat. I just know. Big Mama just knows she's stupid hungry. Yeah, let's talk about it. Usher speech. Baby, they muted the speech out, baby. They, I got the T. Your lit auntie got the T, though. They muted our good old Usher. Usher was cussing every other word, and, and he said a word. He was preaching, but he was cussing. It's kind of like, I know y'all like, how is that in the same? Let's just go and keep that on. I know y'all like, how is that in the same sentence, but... Child, he was talking about how at one point of time... Everybody had gave up on him and wasn't trying to help him. He was like, fuck them and oh! <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, y'all, hold on, y'all. Oh, shit. Let me quit playing. I'm for real. Y'all know I don't like clothes. I, it got to come off of me. I've been having on these clothes for hours. So, uh, yeah. So, basically... Child, I put that media pass up and just start walking down there like I'm a celebrity. Like, <laughs> did nobody stop me? Okay, y'all gotta eat. I'm so thrilled about the issue. My time is midnight. Because it's 10 something here. I got y'all some good footage, I think. Girl, I'm one of them type of people that be in the moment. I was down there, get it sexy. And guess who performance I missed? I miss Glorilla whole goddamn performance. Cause I went to the restroom and when you go to the restroom, when you down on the bottom level, you can't come back in until it's another commercial break. Man, I was mad as hell. I missed her whole performance. But I catch the replay. Oh yes ma'am, we got wings, we got fries, barbecue sauce, hot sauce, ranch. Take care of my ass, my little peanut here. Okay, bye. I'm trying to catch the parts I missed because I was, I ain't no telling what I was doing. And it just dawned on me. Y'all want to know why everybody likes Sexy Red? <sighs> Niggas love hood girls. I ain't gonna lie. They might not publicly love them. <laughs> Niggas, like they go marry or be with. I ain't trying to get counsel on this mug certain type of females but they love hood girls i ain't i've been a hood girl my whole life i know say bro i was in a media booth when she was on so i was like this shit ain't good When you get your wings, tell them don't toss them. That'll let you know if wings are really good or it's the sauce that's making them. Anyway, y'all. I'm so glad that dress didn't work out for me. I swear to God, I saw two more people in that dress. What the heck? Mm -mm. I wasn't happy with what I had on, but the camera didn't flash on me anyway. So, I had a great time. Receiving works on board the aircraft. Clearly, it's the next morning. 
We will call you in groups, A, B, and C. You've already passed out a letter on it and a number. That's just the position you take before you board your aircraft. Once on board that flight, it's open CD, find the first available seat, step out of the aisle way as quickly as possible. Now in the first yeah. Your priority board, 8115. Please do not place a, a bag on a seat you are not oh, on. I guess they are battling because why did she start talking and the other lady was talking? Go ahead and see me here at the customer service podium. I'm trying to tell y'all something. If you would like to upgrade for so clearly I can go to the after. I mean, I went to an after party, but the revolution will not be televised. <laughs> I'm a mess, y'all. I am really a mess, but y'all know I don't do club party. I was gonna go to Glorilla party, but I just went somewhere else. Y'all, I want to talk about the awards, but maybe I don't because y'all saw them. Why nobody like Ice Spice? I mean, her performance, nobody stood up, nobody clapped, nobody nothing. All of the other artists, they were literally damn near standing in their chairs. Like Glow, Megan, Lotto, her, it was like crickets in the room. Like, I was like, did I miss something? I was really confused because I don't listen to her music but clearly she was performing so that means she's doing something right I guess not nobody show her love it was like a ghost town I was looking around like nobody's gonna get up yeah I put that fancy body butter on and look at the glow i just put a flash on it it's crazy it's so subtle but it's there Y'all see it. <laughs> it's not doing it any justice, y'all. The camera don't want to focus, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, my baby. One second. Yes. Yeah, my baby right there. Well, I guess they know when you coming because they text me on the plane. Bye. Who the hell was in my car and hit my knee trying to get in? You can't be that much shorter than me, my boy. I guess I draw like a gangster. So Dallas has two airports. We got Dallas Love Field and we got uh, Dallas International. I love when I fly out of Love Field. Only reason why I don't like flying out of Love Field is because I don't see my friend, you know, my friend who every time I shuttle or whatever. But it's so easy, it don't charge. I don't know why the International Airport, much as I travel, that's the only airport I know that charges. Like, why are you charging us to, I think it's gas, come through the airport, one. And then it's so big and confusing. Like, Nicole used to have whole anxiety attacks. Because all them different loops and arrivals, departure, this airline, this airline. This is simple. You glide through that mug, you glide out, and then the terminals are close. Man, I wish I could fly to her all the time, but unfortunately... I fly Spirit a lot and they don't fly up out of here. I heard they're about to start though. I can't wait, baby. I'm going to be right there. I'm going to try to do a perfume tray this vlog, but it's an easy tray, but it's a hard tray because I think these are out of stock. I just put all four of the Forever Move perfumes on the tray. Um, I'm really still trying to get a feel of them. Damn, back. back. Y'all know I took the big bottles on a cruise before. And I'm really just trying to get a feel of them. This is the order I like them. So I think so. I think I just really need to test them some more. Clearly, you can see by the bottles, the ones I use the most. This one don't even look like it's been touched. NDA? No, you remind me. So we're just going to put those on a um, perfume tray this week. And hair on, So I have to put this cap on that has the hair attached to it. I'm about to go to the post office and then give me lunch, which is chicken strips. And yeah, I love this one place. Chicken strips, I ain't ready to tell y'all yet. Cause woo, woo, y'all make the line around the corner. I love they chicken strips. This is a hat. It just has the hair. I'll link it below. Of course, my Dior lip oil. If I can get it, I don't have no pinky on. So it's making it, but yeah, chicken strips. It come with chicken strips, gravy, fries, a roll, and a drink. But I get fried okra. Yeah, I love fried okra. I love okra, period. That's why I was surprised when Hillside Social had stewed okra on their menu, baby. But anyway, I get the okra because I be trying not to eat so many potatoes now. And I'm craving it. These hormones, I be having 
pregnancy cravings. Thank you guys, y'all saw those wigs out and listened to. Well, it would have been like an hour, but one of them stayed on there. So I just reduced it because I don't put stuff on sale to keep it, baby. I'm gonna keep reducing it till somebody snatch it up. It don't matter if that bitch go down to $20. It don't matter. Hey, that's a bargain. Some of those wigs be three, $400 wigs. And because they as is off my head, I sell it for a hundred dollars because I was lazy and didn't do no work. So why would I charge y'all? Why would a wig be four hundred and I charge y'all three fifty? Now if I wash them, restyle them, and all that, that's different. But it's lazy work on my end, so I just be pushing them out. So I'm about to go camping. So I'm finna put a bun bun back on. Y'all remember that blum bun bun with the clear straps? Yeah, we finna put that on for camping. So I don't have no hair on my face or whatever. I can go swimming and stuff. And I'ma try to find me a country boy out there on that campground. Cause let me tell you something I done learned. That's what I like. Let me turn this light off so y'all can listen to your little auntie. Your little auntie needs somebody country. Cause they nurturing, they catering. These city boys do too much. You get what I'm saying? And I just love the way they handle me when they are from the country. And you know, I was raised mostly in Oklahoma. I had to go there every summer, every Christmas break, every. And it's just a different way that they handle women, in my opinion. Y'all are going to have something to say, but I'm just speaking of, for my opinion. Even like Mr. Couldn't Get It Right. Mr. Kim Get It Right is actually younger than me. A lot of you guys might not believe that because he has like an old spirit. But he's actually young. Not a lot, but he's younger than me. But had like that old spirit, catering, nurturing, caring, I'm the man, you the woman, sit back and relax type vibe. These city boys want you to take care of them, baby. They want flowers. So, uh, yeah, that's we. I'm going to be out there fishing like, can you help me take my fish off the hook? <laughs> Can you help me put my minnow on my worm on my hook? Oh, you want to shoot a deer? <laughs> Let me stop playing. Let's go. Packages dropped is half off at Starbucks to 6 o'clock, so let's go get us a boba. Nobody in line. It's kind of scary. Like, why ain't nobody in line? Yeah, did I tell you I got to stop eating Panda Express the last time I had them? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let me put my camera down because I got to maneuver my way into this driveway. <laughs> um, Grande. Raspberry refresher. I mean, yeah, summer berry refresher with lemonade. No problem. Was that good for you today? Uh huh. Okay, see you at the window. Thank you. So yeah, the last time, boy, I think okay. Let me, I think it's rice, honestly, or fried rice, because the last time I ate Panda Express, oh my gosh, and then I ate that fried rice and wings when I took my friend to the doctor. I don't know if it's the oil they frying it in. I don't know if it's just the rice in itself. Hold on, where's my Starbucks app? All right, for me, home girl. Oh, I'll be eating too much. That's probably what it is. I ain't got no points. Six ninety-eight for you. Is it half off? Yes, ma'am. Oh. It's originally twelve dollars. No, no, no. Uh, just people don't know about the coupon, so <laughs> I don't. I don't know why I said it. Go for one second. I have to scan your app first. So that's the original. Oh, price, yeah. I was about to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm like, what? Okay, what do you need off my app? Uh, just the scan only. Scan in store? Yeah. I'm about to see. Hey, you ain't doing the math. Okay, so $349. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Huh? <laughs> that makes sense. I said, uh, -uh I know that's not $12, baby. <laughs> What you mean? Oh, can I scan the, yeah. that one again? Thank you. Hey, let me taste this before I drive out because it looks a little light skin. Sorry, gonna hold your line up. Good. So, how do y'all feel about the Keith Lee situation? So, Taraji mixed him up. Then she continued to flirt with him in front of his wife, which I am just floored about. But I get that probably was nervous tension. Here's my thing, and a lot of you guys are going to disagree with me, but I'm going to talk my shit because I can only do with me. I, something about Taraji's spirit haven't set right with me ever since the color purple thing. I feel like too much of the attention was on Fantasia, so she kind of like sabotaged the movie by waiting till it came out 
to talk about everything Oprah didn't do for them. Well, she could have addressed Oprah about that directly or she could have waited until the movie got its numbers and did that. Because to me, it made everybody not want to go see the movie because they're like, well, Taraji said Oprah did this. Why would I go support? I don't know. The timing was just really off with that for me. This is just my opinion. So the BET Awards, of course, I... Duh, this is the video. I was there. So it just gave drunk auntie vibes to me. And I know that's a lot of pressure. I know everybody who hosts those live shows like that glitch and mess up. But to me, the amount of flirting that she was doing with people, husbands, was just totally uncalled for, guys. Like, and I get it, Taraji don't know everybody and who's married, but... I just feel like it was another way that could have been handled. Like, dude, there's not another punchline besides flirting with people, husband, and winking at people, husband, and thank you, you too, and all of that. It was just like over the top for me. And then Keith Lee, I will say, I don't think that it was necessary to throw that rose down like that, but. I'm not the person that can tell people how they should react to stuff. Chicken Express, y'all. <laughs> y'all thought it was a really big secret. Chicken Express all day over golden shit because everybody get the two mixed up. I'm not the person that can say how you can react to something. That lip plumper has had my lips swelling, y'all. Like, I don't have it on today, but ever since I started using it, every time I activate anything on my lip, it, it like, it's weird. So anyway, I know I feel like I'm wronged a lot in the industry and I don't say shit a lot in the industry because when you say stuff, everybody turn on you and you're bitter and you're this and you're old and you're, I mean, they, it's all kind of things they label you as when all you want is fair treatment. So yeah, Keith didn't have to throw that rose down, but you have to realize like he said they moved his seat just to embarrass him basically or Taraji basically, I don't know. They moved his seat, set him there, then the whole vibe bubble was off. He said it was rushed, etc., etc., etc. They invited him there. So if you invite this man there, you know you're gonna do this. Just make sure it's done right. That's all he was saying. And then his wife face, they talking about his wife face. Bitch, how the hell your face gonna be if somebody blatantly flirting with your husband right in your face? She's supposed to be sitting over there like Get him glow. Get him glow. Hell no, nah, bitch. Why the fuck you flirt with my husband in my face? And so, and Keith don't play about his wife. So, of course, if his wife is hurt or feeling a certain type of way, it's going to reflect through his actions or faces or whatever. Also, he has severe social anxiety. So, that was just all too much packed up in one. So, yeah, everybody's about counseling Keith Lee. He only a full review. But look how many people, restaurants this man does say. Yeah, he wrong for throwing that flower on the ground, but that was raw emotions and he deleted it. You know what I'm saying? But Taraji was wrong as well. That's just how I feel. I don't pull it over to eat because if I go home, I'm really going to eat in the bed and then go to sleep. But I got about two, three blocks to edit. So you guys wondering how like my stuff was fitting too big at the BET Awards and stuff is because I do this little cleanse I do and I literally had lost like eight, nine pounds in three, four days. It's, it's just no sodas. I'll just drink water every time you start feeling hungry. Don't eat after uh, five. No fried foods, no fast food, just chicken breast and fruit, a salad, chicken breast grill and move around a lot. It's intense, but if you're trying to lose a few pounds for an event like I did, obviously it worked, couldn't even fit that damn drift. And that's my problem because I should have tried it on. But if I'm an extra large, I'm just going to get extra large and go on to the... Anyway. I see y'all not like open. This is so good. They could have fried mine a little harder though, but it's still good. Great, actually. Yeah, the gravy done already gave me a Monica Lewinsky thing. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. It's 
Yeah, I gotta go get. Mm -mm. I have my okra got that like husk stuff in it. I guess that's what it's called. I gotta go get some deodorant, baby. Because, Tyler, I got. Is that Shea Moisture deodorant? I don't know if it's holding me. And I'm thinking about relaxing my hair. Don't try to talk me out of it because by the time this vlog hair is probably gonna already be relaxed. I can't. I cannot get a headache every time I need to comb my hair. I'm sorry. At least the roots. I gotta straighten the roots out of some. Mm -mm. So your girl was about to go in Target, but I'm looking a little more family dollar-ish with my Monica Lewinsky thing. Maybe a dry child, because I need toiletries too, like minis, because I've been packing, even though I was on Southwest, you can check two bags in, take a carry-on and a purse, personal. Even though I was on Southwest my last flight, I still took that little purple bag. It's just so convenient to just like get off the flight and all your stuff is just compact. You just go, you don't gotta wait on no bag and it's lightweight. Um, But I do need like a small deodorant. I do need travel toothpaste. I do need all that. So, but I'm going to Target. Y'all see me, it ain't me. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all while I was up top when they was like building Megan Egg and stuff, we was sitting up there and some people got kicked out back on the woods for smoking. They literally was lighting their blunt up, up at the upper level, smoking. And they kicked them out, of course. And I was so glad. I hate to say this if you got if you're a plavorette and you ain't us, I'm sorry. They wasn't us at all. Yep, it was a, a group of YT boys. I mean, I'm only saying it because people are gonna assume it was, yeah. But, um, yeah, up there blowing big. And while I'm coming to check out, Magic Links paid me. I'm going to a little snack then. Oh yeah, I used to love these. My ex-boyfriend used to bring me these in a blue data rate. Showtime. So next, I need to go down to Five Below to get more fans and stuff for camping. It's literally three stores down, but I'm like, are you going to walk? Because it's hot. <laughs> Well, I saw something where people in Texas are having to put bags of ice in their pools. Crazy. Oh, the Texas heat boiling their damn pools. I have to take my candy out and put it in here, y'all. So they're out of the fans I came to get, but look. How we feel about this? Let's try it. All because I've never been in here, this is pop. I just wanna spend money today, huh? I just don't like being at the house anymore. Well, guys, it's a no for me. I mean, it's a cute little store, but what's the point? Are you a dollar store or are you a... I like that it's purple, <laughs> but I got one thing. Chat, hold on. This is what I was looking for. They got these, man. <sighs> but I got a neck fan. I got a purple fan like this. I got a white fan like this, so... <sighs> Yeah, it's that hot in Texas. Do not go out during the day if you don't have to. So, right here under my vanity, I do my makeup. Child, it's so ghetto. I got this bag down here for me, event That I be putting like all my makeup wipes in. <gasps> Ooh, that's ghetto. I be putting all my makeup wipes in and stuff. So, I finally got a real trash can, girl. Guys and girls. Sorry, because one of y'all checked me and was like, females are not the only one that watch you. This was only $5. I probably could have got a similar bucket at Dollar Tree. But this is something that I have been meaning to get. And it's just going to always, like, slip my mind. So, I just picked it up while I was in there, if you get what I'm saying. Because, like, girl, I've been needing this for, like, 
four months now and I just keep forgetting. So while I was in there, I picked it up. It's top five below. So I needed this <laughs> for my back, baby. Make sure the back ain't dirty and my bag is hairy. Like I literally have to put nair on it. So this was $4, desperately needed that because I used to tell Nicole to come in the shower and handle it for me. I mean, I act like I can't get, don't worry about it. I got this one too, it was only $2. Really only needed one, but got a backup. Never know, the bristles might start breaking out of never or something. I already have a backup. These were $5. They are the Sol de Janeiro dupes. All the rest of this stuff was a dollar. And I just picked up a soap dish, something to put some liquids or cream in. They were a dollar and a toothbrush. All one dollar. Let's talk Target, honey. Of course, I got the turtles that I don't need. Look, I'm going to eat them. Then I'm... Oh, the fourth is coming up. I was going to say that I'm back on my diet. But I really think I can diet on the fourth. Just eat fruits and meat. This Target bag stinks. I thought I was tripping. No, it literally stinks. Maybe it's this. Or maybe it's because this stuff has been in this bag. So I got a small dry spray. I love to put these dry sprays. Hold up. I love to put these dry sprays under my breast and in between my thighs. A travel toothpaste because I was out. Full size deodorant. I saw everything I got. But a travel of my new favorite mouthwash. Everything filing child. And I really, you know what? This was $4 and I really could have just put some out of my big bottle in here. I could have wasted money. You can always take it back, but it's not that serious. Then uh, I got the bottle now. So I can always just refill this bottle out of my big bottle. I got some small wipes. Y'all know I do not wipe with tissue because we got to be squeaky. And I got a travel deodorant. So, yeah. Good morning, y'all. Um, so, I have plans of just laying in bed, editing all day, because I have to go camping tomorrow, and it's going to be hot, and etc. But um, somebody dropped me out some cash, so I'm going to go deposit it, because I don't like keeping cash on me. Remember my wallet? I lost it leaving the hospital with my dad in December, and I was just praying and thanking thanking God that I didn't have cash in it because you can cancel them cards, but your cash is gone. Said I'll let to say, that's why I'm going to deposit it because I don't like having cash on me at any time. A couple of dollars to tilt ballet and stuff when I'm out other than that. Going to Starbucks to get a sick tea. Yeah, I'm so paranoid. This feel like allergies are just like a little climate cold. But this is my COVID month. Every single year, year before last, I went to Cancun for a wedding, came back with COVID. Last year, I went to a cruise for Sugar's graduation, came back with COVID, and now I'm sick. It's always around the 4th of July. I barely could sleep last night because I had like that. <clears throat> I barely could sleep last night because my throat my nose. I could stop sneezing, so I'm finna go give me a sick tea. Hopefully I'm better. I'm gonna skip on camping because I'm not finna go nowhere and contaminate everybody, you know. And, um, that's my cousin. Hold on. So, uh, just block them. She's saying that I don't even know if I want to address this because I was just talking about this yesterday. But like she said, somebody's playing under my post talking about a certain YouTuber was saying how disgusting it is to sell used wigs. And my thing is nowadays people know what they be saying and they know what they be doing. My thing is if it don't apply, let it fly. If it's not your cup of thing, it is. How is that disgusting when you getting it for a portion of the price and you can wash it? 
Now, if you buy it and don't wash it before you wear it, that might be a little disgusting. But I, it's not like I'm... I, I, riddle me this. What is the difference in you, as in the people who got something to say, taking your hot twat to Target, Zara, and all that? I'm talking about the person that left the coming, uh, not the... Whoever, trying on clothes, putting them back on the shelf, and the next person buying half these wigs... Like, you only see me in the same wig repeatedly, probably two wigs out of six months. The rest of them, I put them on for their review and put them in a the closet. That's like trying it on. It's no different than somebody taking their hot twat to Target Zara and stuff, trying on clothes, putting them back for the next person to buy. So, because you go, if when you go to Zara, if somebody tried them pants on before you and put them back on the shelf that make them used, you know what? I ain't even really finna explain that. If that's not your cup of tea, that's fine. Like, y'all got a problem with everything nowadays. And clearly, they be selling out in less than a day. So, a whole bunch of people don't have a problem with it. They got common sense. And they're smart as like, I can get this $400 wig for $100. I'm finna shampoo this bitch myself and be cute. If you can't get with that, that's fine. But stay from around here with that. Because... It's, I was just on Twitter, not Twitter, damn, Instagram yesterday. It was like, it's really getting ridiculous out here. If it's something you don't do, it's fine. Like, there's no need for you to magnify on your platform for bullying and all of that. If it's something you don't do, that's fine. There's no need to come to my comments and talk about it. Like, y'all do research and everything just to talk about something, and it's getting a little... Child, they sold... And we headed to the bank after I get out of my Versace robe. My cousin just left on the porch, and I'm completely up out. It was just telling Nicole how I'm nauseous with some plums and a COVID test. <laughs> Little Miss can't travel without getting sick. Either I travel too much or my immune system is jacked. Or both. Okay, so, hey, y'all, it's the next day. I might, I, it, don't panic. Do not panic. I'm okay. So, I put this braid wig back on. These Tory Burch earrings. This red dress from Shein. The dress from Shein is just red. Now I don't have this on because it's the fourth. I just, I mean red on. And these Tory Burch Miller slides right here, which are called makeup. That's the color, like makeup. So that's my only issue. So I packed up the purple one. I think that's NDA. And I packed up the small one of these two. So I'm just gonna put, um, this one is my favorite thus far. This one performed really well the other day, but it do pull a lot masculine towards the end. So it will remain um, number four. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. My cousin and them are at the campground and can't get in. They have been out there, they left Dallas at eight which mean they got eight, nine, which mean they got there by 10, 11. And the people are like, y'all can't get into three. It's just like a hotel. I don't know. We do this every year. So she just texts and said, now they telling them they can't get into four. So like all the older people are literally just sitting out there by a lake waiting to get in. And it's, 100 degrees outside today. It's 102 and the L 103 are sitting by the lake waiting on the campground. Like, y'all, it's so hot when you walk out the house, the heat like slap you in the damn face. So I can't imagine. They should have took them to the casino or something. Yeah, I've been driving 12 hours, feel like it. Maybe I'm just. There's a dispensary. <laughs> Soon as you cross over the um, Texas line and get to Oklahoma, they on every corner. I've been here about five hours. I don't think I ever told you I made it. We done ate and everything. Here go, okay. Oh, come on, Damari. You know they got to see Damari. <laughs> they love Damari. We gonna go see the fireworks show, y'all. We packing up in the cars. Don't fuss at me, y'all. <laughs> Kizzy. Say hey. Hey. Oh, <laughs> We finna go, Kizzy. We finna go to. We finna. We're about to go to the casino to watch the fireworks. But we got like 50 cars to load up, 30 kids. So, yeah, we literally can park on the side of the freeway. There's a the casino right there. 
Everybody wait. We literally right here where the start. Oh, where they start at. Ooh, we too close, huh? <laughs> Feel like I'm back in the hood. I can't wait till they do the ones with the happy faces and stuff. Bend that thing. Hold on, let me see if I can get my cousins. Hold on. Look at my cousins and them over there. They're gonna like. <laughs> Y'all wait. <laughs> Hold on, let me zoom in. We can't go down there. Our car sit too low. Baby, these things are sparking down on my ass. Playing, baby. Set it out, baby. Remember, she sleep. You sleep. <laughs> Hold on, let me put the light on her since she sleep. Her grandbaby back there sleep. <laughs> she wanna be here so bad. Girl, girl. Y'all not these people got their whole flag up right here. Shit, come on, light so y'all can see. I'm proud to be an American looking ass. There you go. Look at all that firework residue on my cousin's car. And I'm standing out here like I'm crazy. Babe, I got in this car before I get touched. Hello? Because what goes up must come down. Ooh. Yeah, it's almost 30 minutes. They still going. Uh -huh. What is yeah, their budget? 30 minutes. They got it. Uh, out of this world budget. Yeah. He said, dang. Okay, so the casino is red and blue. Y'all see it? I said, God dang, they still going. They said, we got the time and the money. to be Americans too. Blowing our heart. I think that's it. Oh, guess not. That might be it. Dang, huh, Deborah? I said they got a big dollar the budget, ain't they now? Huh? Oh. That's it? Food. Yeah, busting up fireworks. Yeah, we did. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that okay. is our people while I'm playing. <laughs> I got this whole room to myself, okay? They still out here popping fireworks. There's my bathroom. Y'all probably remember this from last year. I'm going to give y'all a little quick tour. This the living room. I don't know who got them dog that is, but uh, yeah. There go Legend. There go Tweet. There go Damari. Here go the kitchen. This the other room. About 30 people can sleep in here. That. You leaving? I'm gonna go over into the little oh, spot yeah, you, over here. What little spot? The freaky tick? No, no. Thank you, thank you. So this is a couch bed. This is a couch bed. Three people can sleep here. Bloom, bloom, bloom. That's my kids over there asleep. The man with the plan. Hey, hey. <laughs> They, they done got hungry. The fireworks show made them hungry again. So, yeah. So I'm trying to see if I'm going to take the camera because I'm about to go to my cousin cabin and we about to take some medicine. All right. That's what I'm about to do. When I tell y'all, I got to sleep with my 80, so I got to be real quiet. This started smelling like Billie Eilish to me. It's when I saw fixing my cousin window, they watching. The pool is already lit. And so they can't get in it. 
My auntie in here cooking breakfast. Hey y'all, good, good morning. Good morning. From Glamping Platt. I don't know what kind of camping y'all thought I was gonna do, but uh, that must ain't been here that long if you thought I was gonna be out in the tent. Oh, wait, hold on, cause one time I was out in the tent. So, let me not front like that. Halfway made my little bed chat. I don't know what kind of pillow this is. My auntie sleeping on, but it damn near look like a tea bag, ain't it? Oh, that's just how the case look. I finna, boy, I finna say, Annie, I know you ain't sleeping on this dingy pillow. Okay, look, this is a bag Amazon sent me. My auntie be using all that stuff I be sending her. <clears throat> Let's do a house check. Everybody woke. Oh, they outside, Deborah. A uh, tweet woke. Mackenzie woke. Let me show y'all what they did when we asked for the Wi Fi password. Show them what they did. Look your phone. Each individual device has its own Wi-Fi password. What kind of? If someone tries oh. to use it twice, what they happens? Won't be able to log into the device. So you name. So I wrote. Kids, oh, I'm gonna say her for her iPad. I'm gonna say why kids got one her iPad. Yes. Uh, she gave us ten because there's a lot of people, but she also forgot that each individual TV needs a password. Plus the amount of adults here and children that have devices. Well, I don't need one. Somebody can take license. mine. My phone working just fine. Device. Yeah, mine working just fine. Device. 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 Oh, you didn't tell a tweet? Wait, what? You tell Roach? Not, not. Roach. Roach. But if I go, if I take a roach back home. Uh -uh, baby, let me tell you something, baby. Let me tell you something. If I have no roaches in my drawers, I'm putting some clothes out. Even though my pajamas don't look like pajamas, but I've been not got no roaches in my pen, no roaches. That's how my auntie said roaches. <laughs> all right, y'all, let me, uh, I coughed all freaking night, but I was too lazy to get up and put a cough drop in. My lashes look dang good. Be eyes, beauty. I linked the whole video. You know I've been saying it. I linked the video and I ain't been doing nothing. It's too much to do now. I gotta link the videos, link the items I use for the shopping, link the, but I'ma do it because it's my job right. So why have step? Why have step? Alright y'all, let me be right back. Yeah, I love this little bag I got from Amazon. This is the personal bag you can take on Spirit Frontier or whatever and they won't charge you for a luggage because it's so small and compact. Y'all need to get it. It come in red. It come in, uh, no it don't, no it don't. It come in purple, navy, black, and brown. I think I'm going to actually get another one, like a black, a black one for a backup. But why? Why would I do that? They're only like $40 on Amazon. And y'all see, I packed all the toiletries. I wore this to bed last night. NDA. And I think I'm really liking this one. But I do think it's still in third place. So, these two. Because I know for a fact. See, I got to learn the names, y'all. I say this every vlog. I know for a fact. Um, hard to get is my favorite. I know for a fact that that's just that on that. But out of NDA and I'm her, we're gonna alternate to see which one is second and third. Um, NDA gives me niche, like it gives me a niche perfume, not something you can get out of like Sephora or some. But yeah, let me do my little routine chat. Come down. Ooh, it's undercast or overcast. So what I'll do, in case you didn't see this last year we came, is go get a um, video of how the campground look. Because there is parts out here where you can sleep outside. There's hotels out here. There's individual little rooms. Slits. Making it, it's making a light bulb go off in my head. Is, is there some property out here for sale? Okay. Yeah, have us a family on business. My ain't gonna be down here cleaning up and stuff. Or whatever they want to do. Oh, Lord, this 
goddamn air just came on. That air was kicking my ass last night. Every time it shot on, baby, I put my head under the cover like a kid. I'm trying to heal, but I couldn't be selfish and be like, it's a house, a big old house full of people. We're roaches. Let me see one motherfucking roach. Y'all know I ain't scared of a goddamn thing. I'm be like, boy, the way I'm gonna kill that roach. Get in my toothpaste. <laughs> Not the hook tuck, whatever they been saying. Baby, y'all ain't been doing it. Y'all ain't been spit doing it. Baby, you better spit on it and slip it back up. All right, never mind. That's the only fast thing. Don't, don't. Yeah, I do too much. Yeah, my uncle got married. But his wife in a wheelchair, so I'm going to go down to their cabin and meet my Amy. <laughs> and he spent the block. Spent the block. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. It's his first love from 66 years ago. It's hot out here. Spray your coochie. I spray my underwear, action. Um, I'm gonna put some contacts on, but for why? Who out here I'm trying to put? Oh yeah, I said I'm gonna give me a country, boy. Is it raspberry in this? I told y'all, like, I don't read or watch other people's stuff because it started convincing me. For real, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of people lie about that, but I'm not one of them. Y'all, yeah, why I brought this to sniff or add hot water to it? Y'all know where it came from. When I came back from London, see, Mr. Get It Right was Dr. Get It Right. I have on my calendar one of his parties. I was supposed to go. He threw, he threw a party in his hometown I was supposed to go to. It's still on my calendar. Kind of made me sad a little bit, child. Because what? I'm going to tell y'all. Like that has been my confidence, confidence since 2006. Even if you know we wasn't dealing, I still told him everything, and he knew everything, and he know how my family, and he know. And now we just flat out ain't talking, like at all. It's weird. Like before we had our little three month look, whatever we just had. We literally talked all the time or called and said, told each other about each other family and friends and now we don't talk at all. Maybe just need a mess. Maybe you just need a little space. I said some really damaging things to him, I know, at the wrong time. And I already told y'all working on me about that. So he'll forgive me one day because he's a good dude. Y'all seen this fit 500 times. It's just a little throw it on, dress machine, baby. I'm just gonna throw it in the, throw it on. And I'm put them same Tory Burch slides on. I'm back with hell. Still ain't got my camera fixed. Where's my niggas? Tell them Oh. Now I be doing all that. And my big toe done came out. Now, y'all gonna see my goodies, ain't you? When did the toenail decide to come out, baby? Ooh, shoot that goose. Be there. Get the hawk's toe, whatever on my damn toenail. Wait a minute now. <laughs> Boy, get out the way. Legend. <laughs> oh, gang gang up, they let people beat them to the pool. Closet. You know your gray green. You better put a shirt on. That's why I'm so Oh. I ain't gonna play that by walking around with no shirt on. And look how legend look uh, under these glasses, chat. Y'all say hey. Hey. Turn the whip out. No, <laughs> Cousin up here cooking. Hey, you know what? What? Keep on posting me on the. You better <laughs> shout out. Where the mini ginger rails come from? Or ginger ale. Y'all got some ginger ale? You want one? Would you like one? She's such a hater. I'm cooking all day long. I got chicken after that to cook. Got fish after that to cook. Whip it in. You know what I'm saying? Got, uh, got briskets, fajitas. I mean, shoot, you name it. But he got it. Up. it up. We got it for all nationalities. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my uck over here to my where I think I'm going. <laughs> to the club. <laughs> Baby, they having a birthday party down here. Eating cake at 11 in the morning. 
and it's one of them little boys that was in our house yesterday. Did I tell y'all? It was a random little white tea boy in our house, so I'll get up out of here. You ain't for the stuff. My people did nothing to you. And why? Your people ain't looking for you. Then the mama gonna say, he used to stand in this house. All right, we got Tweet on the beans. I ain't even finna do her magical Kool-Aid, so I can't record. Wait, wait. It's none of y'all business. Tell them her granny's <laughs> trying to check me. Yeah, I'm her granny's trying to check her. Yeah. And, and, and what you saying, I almost got slapped. <laughs> Tell them how you almost got slapped. Like this, I said, <laughs> Baby, I'm about to be 41. <laughs> okay, well, what go in them? And I told her. <laughs> Okay. And you did a great job holding that slap back. And what did I tell her? I taught you what it is. Yep. <laughs> Let's see what we're working with. So, we go put the beans on the grill. Oh, yeah. This is for her man. Because he's vegan. Oh, you know, people going to be saying something like that. That ain't vegan, that's vegetarian. So, it, y'all get what we're saying. There is no animal product in this, right? It's the, the only meat we eat is. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing fajitas. We already got the pepper stuff cut up. They over there. What's in the bowl? What bowl? is this? By itself. Antoine's. This is ugly. I don't think it's nothing in it anymore. It should. She do that. They keep sticking stuff in their head. You know what that looks like? They move. Like, like, Got the Whataburger ketchup, the best ketchup, especially the spicy. That man said a little weight don't bother him. <laughs> so yeah, I met my auntie. See, I was going to meet her earlier when I was getting her, but she wasn't dressed yet. Oh. I'm gonna pause this way because I need all my money. I met my auntie. Do you have rice to that song? Yeah, I just I found out. Me. She my auntie cousin. Cause she related to me on my granddad's side and my grandma's side. That's like when you go to the family they have them trees and the branch supposed to go like that and the branch be like. Yep. This is the outcome of fajita. Fajita. This is the alfoil. Ain't it? Alfoil. See? Now how you say it's Come on, say, you say corn asada. Oh, shit. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, sorry, Miss 41. Get her. Get her, Heidi. Get her. That thing got me. I had to use it. We didn't have no lid. I had to use it for the steak. I'm sorry, Grand Grand. But it got me good. I didn't mean it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Child, I'm about to go swimming. But it ain't really no sun out here. Lord Jesus, I'm playing with the something. There's no sun out here. But they say the pool heated, so. We're gonna see. I'm gonna swim? No, she said no. 17, King. Oh, Back from the pool, I got my fajita plate. I ain't gonna even eat all this because they finna do fried fish. I'm saving my appetite for the fish. Baby, this thing is too good. Season to perfection. Look here. Get it, cousin. Go, cousin. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's the thing. This how they filling them up. <laughs> what are those? Turn to the side. <laughs> That's my <laughs> Starting on dinner now. So what's for dinner? Oh, we're doing fish. 
I'm just shaking. making you dark as hell. Hold on, let me come from this angle. I am dark. I've been no, you ain't this dark though. I ain't finna play my cousin like that. So fish. Fish and some chicken. Some if you don't cook with this, I don't know what you cook with, baby. I don't care about all this new Tony Saturday, all that old bay Lyris. Sweet on the corner, green beans. We got everything situated right. Yeah, we was trying to sneak off a little bit. Sneak to the sneaky tiki and they We need some old chicken seasoned. My wife little dude is a dog. Tell y'all uncles. Big plague is dad in the kitchen. Got a clean cook season. We cleaned up. They taught us well. Now we sneaking out to the sneaky tiki. Uh, uh. Go sneak. Go teak. Go sneak. This the remix. And we're going to eat over here because if we take it, what they do? Man. No, they charge us. How oh, much? Yeah, 250 Man, look how far it is. We, right, we literally right here. <laughs> but they going to charge us. Hey. So, they be having a live band up here, y'all. Tonight, it'll be jumping. But we ain't going to be over here. They sell they own merch. Huh? Everything you get come with a free salad. Dippin' dots for the kiddos. Cause she got 50 of them. <laughs> we got fried ice cream, molten cake, and key lime, key lime pie. cheese cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's the too. fried ice cream. Oh, I know that's good. I don't know about that. That's interesting. It tastes good though. Try it. Uh, it gives me a mixture of like a churro or some kind of cereal. What you getting Ooh. from it? It's good, huh? Yeah, I came here to tell y'all that I'm having a meet and greet at Amir Oud on the 19th. It's called Black Friday with Platinum D because it's Friday and we're doing all black. But y'all, it's only two tickets left. I just announced it. It's only two tickets left. I'm going to open the RSVP up just for y'all. Only a select amount of seats. So go if you haven't and you want to come. Hang with me. See y'all tomorrow. I'm in the clouds. I mean, tomorrow, no fighting for my life. They loan up the cars and stuff, and I'm here still getting dressed. And one thing I'm gonna do is go through some amber saffron. It just, it puzzles me. And also, the forever moves are gonna stay in order. Okay? Yellow, pink, purple, clear. <laughs> in this order, in this order, in this order. Yeah. Yeah, this is the weirdest house the air blows from the floor. Like what? Where is even a vent set? Yeah, it blows from the floor. So I could be sitting here fresh up out standing here, fresh up out the shower, and the air just starts blowing up my cooler. I'm not playing alright. I'm gonna go out here and say my bias and get on the road because I'm the only person that I get on the road by myself. So I'm not used to that, but by the next time we come camping, I'll have a boot that cover me. Like, even if I am dating somebody right now, it's too early to be around my family like this. So I just got my together and his shirt on. I love his shirt. Because of how thick he is, that's why I couldn't actually wear it two together land. But yeah, camping was fun, child. I tried to record as much as I can, but remember all we did was ate. <laughs> he, yeah, mine was like, let's start lunch. I'm like, damn, I just ain't making an eggs. Let's start dinner. God dang, I just ain't spaghetti. I mean, spaghetti. Goddamn fajitas. Man, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I ate about 40 pieces of fish, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not, I can't even lie to y'all, so I gotta get straight home and detox, because tomorrow I gotta go back to LA. God damn, I should've just stayed. But I had to come home and go camping. So, um, yeah, I'm still, I'm not feeling my greatest still. But here's the thing, before, why am I so dark? What is my camera on? 
before I left and went camping. Oh, yeah, I stopped. My cousin brought me uh, by a COVID test. Uh, um, now I let it. So I know it ain't COVID, and then I know it ain't the flu either because. Did I record that? I woke up and went to see my doctor to get a, um, and it ain't the flu, so she was like, my climate's just be changing too much, and my immune system ain't, ain't fighting it right, so I need to get my vitamin intake and stuff up, because y'all know me, baby, I ain't going nowhere, in risk, especially sleeping in the bed with my mama, uh-uh, uh-uh, I ain't going nowhere risking getting my sick, nope, so, I wouldn't go even go, but... Mine was like, it's just the cold. It's just the climate. Come on. They be so worried about me, y'all. Because I used to be like the person in the family at the family function and the reunions, initiating all the games, doing all the recording, like making sure everybody had fun. And I just done tapped that shit. But life done tapped my ass. Like, life got them hands. And I think I can fight, but I guess not. I feel like I'm getting jumped by 12 bitches sometimes. But, um,. I'm gonna try to find a Starbucks to get me a sick drink. I wish somebody, I had somebody to make me some chicken noodle soup. But hey, but let me tell you something. They say you don't miss what you had till it's gone. <laughs> Y'all need to quit playing and like, that's why don't nobody take me serious. Hold on, okay, let me stop playing. I'm so playing. Let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. Hey, um, I might end the vlog because ain't nothing else exciting to do. I'm gonna go home and have a talk with my daddy because I don't, let me tell y'all why I just get up and go down. I don't worry about nobody but myself. Because I was in there with my auntie last night and she told me that my daddy said his car don't work. First of all, my daddy called newer than mine, way newer than mine. Way newer than mine. And he be gone every day. So why the would you tell my auntie your car don't work? The, oh, I'm saying people be trying to stress me. I swear to God, people just want to see me out of here. You just try, you want me to stroke out or to take out because why try to stress me that bad? Why would you lie and tell my auntie you can't never go nowhere because your car don't work? But you always go and your car work. 